No shit. So Churchill's asked me to personally see that he gets it back. Oh, that's a big he one. wore the Shelby Company handsomely for his troubles. Ooh, I'm thirsty. Come on, come on, open it. Oh, there's a plank blocking the door. There we go. That's cool. I like that. It, that was very intuitive. Welcome to another video. My name's Sam, and today we are checking out Peaky Blinders, The King's Ransom. Don't know why I did it in that voice. I just did. Um, I don't actually know much about Peaky Blinders. I haven't watched the TV series. It is on my to watch list, but I haven't got around to it yet. So I'm jumping into this game with no background knowledge of this franchise. Obviously, uh, for those that have watched the TV series, you're gonna recognize certain characters and environments. I'm just going into this to experience the game and showcase what it is and uh, give my first impressions. So without any more chit chat, let's get on with the video, shall we? Game on. Okay, so moving around, yeah. Rotate, yeah. Teleport. Okay, so there is teleportation movement if you want that instead of smooth locomotion. This is looking good. So this is obviously running natively on the Quest 2. I like that you can obviously pick up from far away. Ah, pick up the journal. Okay. Stow on release. Boop. Can't get caught with a deserter in the back of the Shelby's van. I'll go to prison and you'd be put to death. Deserter? Oh shit. Well, that, that's me, is it? Grab from either shoulder to open. Okay. The rotation, the angle of it is a bit. Ah. But other than that. Come here, Sammy. Sammy? Sam, please, it's it's fine. A deserter's got no other choice. These models are pretty decent. So you better look the part. What do you mean? Ever washing that sink? I look fine. Look, Grab I'm floating hands. From that locker. Uh. We've got here. Radio isn't working. Can I oh, fix that? Tinkerer. I can. So I'm assuming Not that needs to go in there. Size, so it seems like my thoughts are coming up as text. Yeah, I'm cleaning myself. You said to give myself a wash. That's what I'm doing. La la la. Okay, I fools. Ooh, cigarettes. Can I store that? Oh, I can. It's a tarot card. The fool. Come on, I want to get at least one on. Eh. Look at that. What's that? Double twenty. That's chalk. Oh, can I write on there? I can. Oh, hang on. Subscribe. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this. Also, hit that thumbs up button for a like. And uh, comment down below what you think of this so far. I know it's obviously early days, but uh, yeah, but most importantly, if uh, you're enjoying this, subscribe. <laughs> this is this is the important one. Yeah, you know you want to. Please, thank you. I, I don't know what that dancing was. I don't dance, I'm terrible. I swear, I didn't. I oh, never told them anything. Oh. Sounds uh, fun. Come in. Let me get a look at you. Thomas Shelby. Hi, right, Thomas. Oh, the time's not been gone to you, eh? Right? It has not. Oh. Don't smoke? Time, actually. What's it been? Ten years? About, About that. that. More? I don't talk, do I, so? Still can't talk after all this time. Uh, apparently not. That old bastard really did a number on you, didn't he? Yeah. Have a read of this. Churchill's place was robbed last night. Give it to me then. Got away with the king's ransom. Jewelry, fine china, family heirlooms. But Churchill's far more worried about this. 
This was stolen from his nightstand as he slept. Looks like a briefcase, but it's not. It's Churchill's dispatch box, stuffed with government secrets. Now, God forbid it falls into the wrong hands. God forbid. Which is where we come in. A toast. Oh, okay. Cheers. To old friends. The documents in that red box. I, I didn't dribble. I'm every British undercover agent worldwide. That's not Word good. Got it. Could blow the lid off the empire. Start a new war. So Churchill's asked me to personally see that he gets it back. Oh, that's a big he one. Wore the Shelby Company handsomely for his troubles. Ooh, I'm thirsty. Luckily, I was able to locate it. My man in London was due to deliver it here this morning. He called before he set off. No one's seen her and I heard of him since. Not good. Mm -hmm. Now, Arthur, he remembers what you did for him back in the old day. But I'm not Arthur. Offence, desertion. Oh, I know. Oops. Anything but a child. Plea, not guilty. Okay, finding guilty sentence death. Ah, shit. Right there. The fuck? I'm not convinced just yet. Albert Hammer's man betrayed me. He's in there. Take care of him. There's someone there. Yep. Whatever Tommy told you about me, it's not true. I'm a good man. Ask Abarama. Mm hmm. On my son's life, do, I never told those Winters children anything. Do you mind? I'm trying to read. No family to speak of either. You just said you swore on your son's life. You don't have a son. Okay, I'll get another magazine. Oh, can I store that? Nope, maybe like, oh, over the shoulder maybe? Nope, that's gone. Okay. Right. Did you feel that? Right. I've been talking to the Bolsheviks, but I was going to tell Tommy. I swear. Whatever he told them was enough to convince them they could hide on our territory. And our lads paid the price. You got some of our boys killed. Is that what you're telling me? Let's try the other kneecap, shall we? Oh, I thought they just spent all their time making flyers. I don't believe you. It wasn't my fault. You know what? Oh. I've got nothing left. I swear it. No? Oh, God. I've got nothing left. I swear Are it. Are you sure about that? Because the next one, you're really going to regret. <laughs> ah, fine. Those commie pricks upset my crates. Then ran off behind the pub. The fuck? They say they're for the workers. They cost me a day's work. What just happened? I guess I'm about to find out. Oi! Howdy. That way! Sounds like something is going on behind the pub. Yeah, you think? So I just threw a brick. They did. Whoa! Protesters. Hmm. You the one who just went into the garrison? Yeah. I've locked these commies out. Nothing more you can do here, lad. If you want to keep order in Small Leaf, just do whatever Tommy's asked. Okay, my hands just go straight through this. Guess I'm not going that way. So I guess I'm not going that way. Do I have to go back through the pub? It seems a bit... No. Okay. I must have to go through there then. Have I missed something? So my hands interact with these. So I'm assuming I'm meant to do something first. <laughs> I can't do it again. Whee! I don't actually know what I'm meant to do now. I want to go through here. Should, should I go through here and left? Have I broken it somehow? I'm just very lost it directed me this way therefore can you help me hmm? so i can't teleport past there you don't have much help can't teleport over there and i can't go back in here i think i broke it which isn't fantastic okay so i've uh, 
gone back to the main menu, I've come back, had to reset my comfort settings and put myself back to standing because it defaulted back. So let's see if this works this time. Nope. Why can't I open this fucking gate? I can't interact with it at all. Yeah, better get to watery lane, don't want to keep Holly waiting. So how do I do that? Approximately 10 hours later. Oh. Really? Ah, fine. Well, progress. <laughs> okay, so white things can be moved or broken, it would have seem. If only I had a hat. Ah, a hammer. Okay. Ah, a bullet. This game seems to have a lot of collectibles. Sam. Yeah. It's Hi. really you. It is. After all this time. Polly. I just heard you were coming. Oh, hi, Polly. Got back early, especially. Hope those Winter's children didn't give you any trouble. Bastards just got three of our boys at Charlie's yard. Anyway, let me get you some tea. You know me, I love my tea. Desertion might not make you a coward, but it does make you a liability. Where's the tea? So be careful while you're working for us. Is it imaginary tea? What's Tommy got you doing? Oh. Uh. Unless you give me a note from Tommy, I can't help you. Yeah, there you go. He's sending you to Limehouse. The tongs run that place, and they are ruthless. The Winter's children will be watching the roads. Did you hear that noise? Sounds like you got rats. None of our boys should be up there. What's happened here? Ow! Ow! Get down, Sammy! Those wires. They've rigged the place to blow. So it looks like There's it. There's one of their bombs. Up, you disarm it while I hold them off. There's wire cutters in one of these drawers. Hmm. Do I literally have to follow it around? Did you learn to defuse bombs in the army? Uh, I'm looking. Didn't you learn to defuse bombs in Your the army? Time. No, I didn't, and I'm not getting any tutorial on what to do. What am I meant to do? You're not blowing up my betting shop, you Bolshevik bastards! I'm, I'm just looking for prompts. Let's get rid of the cigarette. Where'd, where'd they go? Mary, mother of God! All right, the back. All right, give me a prompt. Something. Does someone want to tell me how to defuse this? Stop that bomb now. And how would you like me to stop the bomb, Polly? Huh? Stop that bomb now. Ah, there we go. Now defuse ah. the rest. Now defuse the rest. Uh, snippy, snippy. So we cut that one. Oh, as in other. Oh shit! I teleported again. Okay. okay. Hanging back. Yeah, I see it. Let's take that off, snip you. Ooh, safe. Money! Here's the key for the lockbox. Ta. Uh, lockbox, lockbox, lockbox. Right. I'll best say to our boys. Minter's children would have caught them by surprise. Oh, can I open it now? No. Now. <laughs> I mean, I can take its contents. It's very difficult to read. Is there an easier way of turning it around? <laughs> and just put it... No? Okay. I've put the key in. Why can't I open this? I'm loving, like, the premise of this game. But it feels like certain things are just... Broken. Take this as well. Sam, meet our contact at the docks in Limehouse. Very odd that I can't actually open it, but I can take contents from it. Okay, so hopefully I've got everything that I needed from there. 
I'm gonna break some bastard's neck in a minute. <laughs> fucking winter's fucking children. I'll leave for half an hour, and this oh. place turns into yeah. fucking Moscow. Yeah. Alright, Arthur. If it's not the man of the hour. You need to practice if you're going to Lawn House. Yeah, pull that lever to raise the targets. Grab the gun and show me what you can do. Like to catch my enemies when I'm at the shooting gallery. Okay, I can hold it with two hands. Finally, we're getting into some action. That straw flicks are no match for you. So yeah, I mean, it's taken a long time to get into action for me. And it would seem that I like what has happened, but I think it needs to be streamlined quite a bit because there was a lot of times where I was just trying to figure out what the hell, you know, is going on and where I need to go, what I need to do. It wasn't made that clear. So I think that needs addressing. Like an actual inventory system, other than like the holster of my gun here, my cigarette and my lighter. I don't think there's an inventory other than some stuff going in here. More ammo. So literally to get ammo you have to go to those little red boxes. It's a shame. Do I need to come talk to you? No. Alright, let's have a look at what I need to do. It's been a long day, perhaps I could have a drink. Really? Okay. I'm getting the impression... Uh, I hope I'm wrong here, but I'm getting the impression that they're trying to drag out the experience with these other little gimmicks. It's been a long day. Perhaps I should sit down and have a drink. Like, for anyone that hasn't watched Peaky Blinders, for example, I mean, do I... Why do I want to sit down and have a drink? I don't want to... Have a I, drink before we get going. I don't know these Calm people. There we go. No shit. You have to keep like grabbing the ammo from get to that bridge as fast as you can you right. Boxes. Which is a weird mechanic, but okay. We oh. Missed him. You're not gonna get shot. I got you covered. You get to that bridge as fast as you can and you right. Now I like that. That needs to happen more. Like every time there's an objective, that should be plastered somewhere, I feel. Let's try a Molotov. Hello. Where is someone? I want to set you on fire. There you go. That didn't work, did it? Shame the bodies disappear, but obviously I can understand why that needs to happen because of this running on the quest. Yeah, I do. Look. There you go. Oh, another guy. I just pulled my magazine out. Oh, and again. <laughs> you put your hand underneath the cup here, and it thinks you want to remove the magazine. I'm just going to shoot one-handed. I don't think there's any recoil. And they, here they come. Uh, you got one. You got one. I'll give you that. I'm hoping, now the impression that I've also been getting, is that that first section is more or less sort of like a tutorial area. Now, I could be completely wrong there, but I'm hoping that's the case and that now the game's really going to start. I feel like Gordon Freeman. Right, do I still need this? What are all these little things? I'm assuming they're still, they're just like collectibles. Can I eat it? 
No, it's a shame you can't eat that. See, what would be cool is if they actually had a health system. You could eat apples to you know, regain your health. You had an actual inventory system. Even if it was just like put la something large over your shoulder, you know, it's that sort of thing. But I, I think they're trying to just be more narrative than anything. It's very linear. But it's a story experience, I guess. Over here. Hello. Lily Wong. So yeah, as I was saying, I, I'm getting the impression that uh, this is very much uh, a linear experience, but a linear experience based on story more than anything else. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly fine. Now, it is a shame that it's not more like open world esque streets are blocked off so you have to go the way it wants you to go so if you're a fan of the Peaky Blinders and you want uh, a nice story VR experience where you can be in the world of the Peaky Blinders with some action involved then uh, this seems to be right down that uh, route so obviously we can't get through here must find another way so down we go looks like there's been a bit of commotion ooh yeah that's not good there's some commotion that came this way Can't, can't open it. Oh, there's a plank blocking the door. There we go. That's cool. I like that. It, that was very intuitive. See, moments like that really make VR amazing. When there's just a situation, you know exactly what to do and you just do it. Lily, Feng has the box. Get out of Limehouse. I love you. Right, we've got the key. Someone upstairs. Fucking hell. No. Oh. Will you okay by down? Because of your stupid antics off the tongue are looking for us. So yeah, this is shaping up to be more of a story based, story driven game. L like I said, linear, yes, but atmospheric, uh, and focusing on that story. So if you want to be involved, I guess, in like an episode or a season of Peaky Blinders, then uh, I think uh, you might thoroughly enjoy it. Now, I think there are some things that need to be addressed and improved on. But uh, other than that, this is uh, starting to turn out to be quite a fun, enjoyable game. You should have stayed in Birmingham. Apparently so. I'm going, I might as well put my hands in like this. The Tong have fought for Limehouse, and we will protect it. My father paid dearly for me to come to England to study medicine. Oh, you don't need that. But he didn't anticipate the prejudice I'd find here. Hmm? I must send him a message. Yeah, care, I cannot continue that, to mate. send men into my territory. Mr. Hall, intruders! They started a fire and there are shit. All of them! Sherby will pay for this! Yep. Turn that out of my face. I must see to my business. Yeah. But I shall return. Please do. I look forward to it. Speak soon. Oh. Yeah. Peaky blinder. Can't wait. I'll just stay here then, yeah? Okay. Good talk. Sammy! Ah. Are you alright, lad? Yeah, I'm fine. I told you to watch out for Little tied up. Oh. oh. Uh oh. Give me the gun. Yeah, fucking pig. Oh fuck, it's empty. Fucking hell, got it here just in time to save him. Look, Kate. 
Somebody pin a medal on me. Still breathing, eh? I'm a blinder, man. I'll take your fucking eyes. Yep. You won't see this coming next time. No, he definitely won't. Shame for hospitality. Grab your stuff and let's get going. All right, quick and quiet. Let's go. Need to find Pong's office. Probably upstairs. That's where he'll have the box. Yep. Right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Peaky Blinders, The King's Ransom. If you have enjoyed this video and uh, the looks of this game, hit that like button that's down below. It tells uh, YouTube that this is a video worth watching. It tells other people as well. And if you have enjoyed this content and don't want to miss out on future content, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and change it to all so you don't miss out on future content. Yeah, I mean, this is fun. It was um, slow to start off with. Uh, some issues here and there trying to figure stuff out. It wasn't that clear, but uh, it's starting to shape up. It seems to be focused purely on linear story driven activities which is fine once you get into the swing of things uh, is, this is a uh, quite an enjoyable experience i look forward to seeing what else happens but like i said i'm going to end this here so until next time stay safe have fun game on <laughs>